This week on Rams 360. Game day in Inglewood here at SoFi Stadium. It's week five in the National Football League. The Dallas Cowboys are riding it into Los Angeles. The Rams got their own mariachi band. And so I thought it was cool. It was an idea that, that sparked if I should do something that really uplifts them. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! All this and more on Rams 360. Excited, hold on. I'm pulling up right now, and here they go. Yeah, fella's gonna look fly. We're gonna see who look the flyest. We'll let, we'll let social media, we'll let social media let y'all know. Shot. Where that energy at? <laughs> My name's Javi, man. I'm Joey. What's up? We're co-owners of uh, Paisa Boys. We're a streetwear brand from LA. We're big fans of what you did last year, you know, with the mariachi suit. When you come out with the, with the mariachi suit, it's like you're putting this on a big platform for us, and we were like super hyped. That's the kind of stuff we love to see, you yeah. know? Yeah. We felt like you approached it from a place of like a lot of respect. My uncle's a mariachi, been doing that for generations. Mm -hmm. So he sent me this when you wore it, you know? Yeah. You're kind of helping elevate our culture, you know? And that's what we wanted to do when we started our brand. You know, coming out here to LA and just trying to embrace the culture, embrace embrace the atmosphere right. and everything around me. And seeing what the Rams did unique, immediately when I got here to LA, I knew what it was. <laughs> I knew what was yeah. special to the Rams. And then um, the Rams got their own mariachi band. Yeah. And so I thought it was cool. So um, it was an idea that, that sparked so I should do something that really uplifts them and, and shines a light right. on them, shines yeah. a light on the band. And plus, I think the band cool. Yeah, them my boys. Them my boys out there. They playing that drum. This year, I want to make sure, you know, we do we do something special yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do it, we do sure. it even bigger. We definitely got some stuff to show you. We're big on mood boards. We're big on, on energy. You know, pictures give us a lot of energy and inspiration. I feel like it'd be a disservice if we didn't mention the legend of all mariachi suits, you know, Vicente Fernandez. Um, no one did it like this guy. His suits are legendary. They, they're in museums, you know? See? Like, it, it's just crazy the detail that he would put into them. A mariachi is probably one of the most iconic symbols of Mexican identity. So, of course, we had to translate that into our clothing. So what you see right here is just a few the design elements that we came up with. I like this look here because it's right. simplified, but mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's going to pop. Like, the logo is going to pop. We like to use crown of thorns. Crown of thorns. It kind of symbolizes, like, sacrifice and, you know, putting on the line to follow your dreams, you know? Yeah. It's going to look real nice. I really appreciate y'all for real, man. No, yeah, yeah, we real, appreciate man. what we appreciate you're doing for our too. culture. Yeah, for so. real. Silas, can you hear me? Yeah. What's up, man? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say anything, man. What's up? I look at Silas as like my little homie now. I was touched by his story and I wanted to kind of befriend him and help at least give him some encouragement at minimum. And from there, it just turned into like, dang, like I care about this kid, honestly. And he puts a smile on my face, too. Yo, what's happening, guys? Javi. Nice to meet what you. What up, How you doing, buddy? Nice to meet you. This is kind of uh, where everything goes down at. We're excited to show you the behind the scenes uh, with the mariachi suit. So how long does the whole process take? The whole process takes about up to two and a half weeks. Uh, for the embroidery alone, that took about three to four days. For me personally, I think this is actually one of my favorite um, times in the production process is when they start putting the fabric together. That's when it kind of gets exciting to me personally. All the individual parts are like parts of a story. So when it comes together, it's like we're able to tell the full story. All right, Silas, so we're kind of getting to the end process here. Uh, you see it's really starting to come together and really look like, you know, a mariachi suit. So what was the inspiration behind each design element? Yeah, so we obviously were inspired by the traditional mariachi suit. Yeah. So that was the main uh, source of inspiration for us. There's a lot of hidden elements that we put in there that are inspired by Jalen. What we always try to do is uh, trying to take these classic traditional mariachi elements and put them on a kind of modern day garment. 
So Jalen is number five, and if you look really closely, lots of hidden fives in there. Mm -hmm. um, that's something we did kind of special for him. You know, just one of those touches that we thought would kind of take it to the next level. From here, I think the ball's in your court, Silas. I mean, we kind of trust you to take him to Jalen. Yeah, thanks for having me. You can yeah. trust me to get him to Jalen. For sure, yeah, man. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, bro. Cinco in the house now. The, the man of the hour. What's up? Y'all the man. I thought you were going to be wearing the suit like us. Uh, they should have they told me. I would have had the whole <laughs> suit on, too. We're going to make you yeah. an honorary mariachi. Cinco in the house now. The, the man of the hour. What's up, man? Y'all the man. Right. I thought you were going to be wearing the suit like us. I, they should have told me. I would have had the <laughs> whole suit on, too. We're going to make it's, you an, an honorary mariachi. It's a little hot outside, though, today. <laughs> yeah. I was sweating in my t-shirts and shorts. <laughs> How have y'all been? Very well. I think they're just, you know, hoping to finally get to meet you. Yes. You know, we admire time. you, your prowess on the field, and, uh, and I'm glad, you know, you brought the Rams to the championship. Yeah. And I'm glad you're part of it. I was glad to be a part of it. Trust yeah. me. Well, y'all look good, obviously. Y'all wear these all the time? Yeah, we have other clothes too. So I, hope, anyway. I would hope so. This is, I've, only, I've only seen y'all swagged out in these. So look, I'm glad that y'all was able to, you know, give me that last year and I was able to kind of be a part of um, y'all's band and what y'all do. I mean, we have something in common when it comes to we play well, both of us play well in our professions and we look good doing it. Last year, y'all got to hook me up. I had me looking good coming in the stadium. This year, I want to return the favor. I want to hook y'all up. I want to have y'all looking good. So, thank you. Y'all take a look at them. Open them up. Okay. Tell me what y'all think about these. This, this is kind of like my style a little bit, with a little bit of y'all tradition nice. all together. You know what I mean? Oh! oh. <laughs> You're kidding me! Wow. Dang, Damn. this is cool. Oh, I swear we can go work in these. Yeah. You know what? This is sick. Look at the. Hey, the it's all time. good. With the Rams. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, this was a little big. Awesome. Yeah, I like them baggy a little bit. I hope y'all like them. I, I like wearing sweats. Oh, I like wearing man. sweats and Beautiful. stuff. Beautiful. You know what I mean? But I wanted to definitely keep a little, keep some tradition and stuff in there for y'all. Yeah, we got some shoes too. Now we don't have to wear our trajes everywhere, <laughs> every day. I think you just revolutionized the traje de charro. A plus, y'all like them? We oh, love them. Thank, you, so much. thank oh, you. You're very, very kind, Jalen. Just, 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 like, just like I thought you would be. Thank you. Yeah. When we heard from you, you know, we never got to meet you, and we've been trying to, but it never worked out. We saw you talking about how you wanted to be part of the band and learn how to play a little bit, so we all chipped in and got you something. Did y'all rap this yourself? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> had to help y'all. You have no idea how long it took me to do that. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh! Ooh! Hey. We thought we thought you would really like that. No, I love this. I don't like this. I love this. From Mariachi Rams. Am I supposed to play it like this? Yep. If I'm, if I'm yeah. Jalen. <laughs> Mariachi Rams. <laughs> We're we gonna, we gonna practice, right. we gonna practice. So y'all got to see the outfits. I want y'all to see what they'll look like on somebody. So I got a special friend here. Oh. Last year we got to give him a mariachi outfit as well. He might be rocking what we got right here. So let me, I'm gonna go oh. get him. Oh. That looks good. Y'all see Silas, Silas looking okay. good. Looks as good as what he did with the mariachi outfit. Yeah, yeah. he, he looked good up in the mariachi outfit. Yeah. Silas, I have a question for you. What did you think of the first time you saw Jalen wearing a suit like this? I said to myself, I need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those. Yeah, and then he told me, I need one of those. I'm like, all I think right, he wanted yeah, yours, need. right, originally? Yeah, I'm like, all right. No, I'm, I'm glad that we all got to get together, especially not meeting you all for a year. Um, I'm glad that we got to get together, sit down, talk for a little bit. I'm glad that I got to give y'all a little gift. I'm, I'm blessed that y'all gave me a gift. So I appreciate y'all um, coming out today and, and doing this with me and Silas and, well, and, and, the, whole, and the whole game. Thank you. Thanks. Vamos, Jalen. 
it was cool working with the Pisces boys. Um, and honestly, I mean, they they did all the work. They executed it after that. It was easy for them. This is what they do, you know, on a regular day to day basis. And like, this is something I wear. I wear sweats all the time. I'm comfortable, so I wear sweats like this. Um, and I mean, we talked about all the specific details of the sweats, right? We talked about how how I like my sweats to be a little loose at the end, a little breathable. And then obviously we talked about the colors and I went with white because obviously the traditional mariachi suit is, is blue. Um, but against the, I know it was week five against the Cowboys. So I, knew, I knew we were gonna be wearing white at home. So I wanted to go all white and then just have like the details really be able to pop out the symbolism, the ram head. So yeah, it definitely came out exactly how I thought it would. They, they executed it the right way. What's up, man? I'm excited, hold on. I'm pulling up right now. And here they go. Yeah, fella's gonna look fly. We're gonna see who look the fly as we'll let, we'll let social media. We'll let social media let y'all know. Who y'all think look the best, me? I look the best out of everybody, huh? Y'all look, y'all look good. I saw you had some shades on, so I threw some on. Oh, everybody got the shades on. What's up? How are y'all? Very comfortable, so we are gonna be playing in it. So it's gonna, be, it should be fun for the audience to see too. We're excited. Jalen has the whole crew here today. We're ready to go kick some butt today. Let's get some pictures. I like the switch up. This is the first time y'all switched up, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, fellas. I'll see y'all from the field. I'm gonna point up to y'all. Y'all try to, y'all try to keep a lookout. Trust y'all. Yes, I love y'all. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go when, when we be having fun like that, bro, like everybody else be feeding off our energy, bro. You can't kick it again. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Be turned up. Look, hey, look how they got everybody turned up. Hey, they got everybody turned up in here, dog. They matching Trayvon with Cooper today. Snap back, Cowboys bring five. 
Hits the crosser. Cooper Cup, one-handed catch. Off to the race is 30. Midfield, there goes Cup. Needs a block, gets it. 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Cooper Cup. I like that. One-handed. And Cooper ain't even known for speed. Outran him, though. Hey, spot. Hey, spot. Flood, flood. Blindside rush. Jalen Ramsey, Dex Cooper rush. Knocks the football out. I got it. That's the first one. Yeah. I got it, big boy. my life. For real? Well, my NFL life. I had a bunch in college. Man. Oh my God, I'm but faster. But you slower than me. I'm faster than you. Me? 100%. No, but like if we actually ran a race, I'm No, 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 no. Burgess, maybe. Oh, yeah, you know he just slows out of group. You see, I finally got me a sack? Well, that's the first one in my career, huh? That was a good one, huh? He fumbled? Hell yeah. We need that one, you feel me? You know, I'm gonna be critical for you. I know you already know, but third and 16, we got, we, you can't, you feel me? We gotta get off right there. That's how we play complimentary football. We get them boys the ball, they gotta punt it, and then we get the ball, you know what I mean? You done made that play hella time. Play your game within the system. Play your game, though. You wanna press? Do that, pray. So I play, oh, do that. Like, play your game with in the system. Huh? What? What? Huh? What'd he say? Number six on that defense. He said something. He said something and then he pointed like this. I said, what? He said, he said, I said, what'd he say? <laughs> For the jersey during the middle of the game? I don't know, maybe that ain't what he said, but he pointed to the jersey. I said, what? He said, I'm like, after the game? Coming up next on Rams 360. Where are we finding solutions instead of being pissed off about what hasn't occurred? Aaron Donald as an edge rusher. Look out. Game day in Inglewood here at SoFi Stadium. It's week five in the National Football League. The Dallas Cowboys are riding into Los Angeles to face the Los Angeles Rams. Hey, our best ball of the year for 60 minutes. Start fast, let's go. Ultimately, it's about versatility, consistency in terms of our operation, everybody doing what they're supposed to do. Play fake, Stafford, clean platform, going vertical, looking for 2-2. Two -two. He reels it in! 2-2 two -two at well, first catch is a huge tough play. There we go. 2-2, two -two, two -two gotta be in that game, man. Circumstances and situations, whether you look at them, they're good or bad that you have to deal with in this league week to week. And I think you want to make sure that you guide your emotions in a manner that's reflective of where are we finding solutions instead of being pissed off about what hasn't occurred. It brings the pressure. Rush, hit oh. from behind, balls out, strip sack, Aaron Donald destroys the play. Aaron Donald as an edge rusher, look out. The way that I believe in operating, it's about a collective accountability that's shared, but also having solution-oriented approaches and something that we work really hard to try to figure out. There are a lot of moving parts, and like I said, none of which is an excuse. It's got to be better. Hits the cross, Cooper Cup, one-handed catch, off to the races. Go, go. Midfield, there goes Cup. Needs a block. Gets it. Touchdown, Cooper Cup. You want explosive? Cooper Cup will give it to you. That's a hell of a play by you, and that's the way to go and help out your teammates. Hey, that was a direct reflection of you, that touchdown right there. Great effort, great effort. Playing for each other, playing for each other. 
anything is on the table. And so we're all a part of this. We're all in it together. I think being able to figure out how to best operate, how to best stay efficient. The answer is that everybody can be a little bit better. No doubt about it. We're all in it together. Oh, this is nice. You're funny. Great communication, great command, great clarity from us. And I do believe those things are correctable, and, and I think that's going to be reflected this week. Stay tuned for more Rams 360. I think it's always been a collaborative effort, no matter what the record is or what the outside narrative is. We uh, are always, you know, understanding that everybody in this building has good ideas and, and ideas that can help us, and we continue to try to talk and communicate, collaborate, and, and come up with the thing that works. You know, everybody's hungry, and we understand that we're close. You know, we just got to eliminate some of the plays that's hurt us and just be locked in on the little things. But you know, I, I really feel confident with with us uh, being able to turn our things around. Great communication, great command, great clarity from us. And I do believe those things are correctable, and, and, and I think that's going to be reflected this week. you got to trust the process that's gotten you here, you know. Um, been playing this game a long time, um, have a lot of experience, both good and bad in situations. And if you start grasping at straws and thinking this or that or this is going to make it better, you know, a lot of times it's just continuing to do your process and do it as well as you possibly can. I'm grateful for this opportunity because uh, sometimes growth cannot occur unless you go through these types of experiences and even though in the midst of it it doesn't feel great sometimes when you look back on those tough examples those are the most rewarding times that I think really bring and bond people together thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week for more Rams 360